Okay. I'm trying. <laughs> this is my first time and they probably can tell. <laughs> we are Raising Voyagers. Heather, Brady, Alexa, and Chloe. This week we arrived to our 38th country of Morocco and have only 24 hours to explore the beautiful city of Casablanca. In today's video, we tour the largest mosque in Africa, try out some local Moroccan food, and then ultimately begin our road trip to Chef Chouan, where we have a small run-in with local traffic laws. Chloe, what did you see? I saw pigeons. What do you want to do to the pigeons? Taste them. Chloe, where are we? Where are we, Chloe? You forgot. Okay. Today is our first full day in Casablanca, and we are now headed to the Hassan II Mosque, which is um, the number one thing to see in Casablanca, as far as I know. Um, and it's proving to be a very long walk. Are you tired, Alexa? So it's probably about a two kilometer walk, probably a little bit too far for with kids. Um, but when we asked to get a taxi, they recommended we just walk. So we decided we'd give it a shot, and we'll probably grab a taxi on the way back. We made it. It's probably only 10.30 in the morning and it is cooking out here. As soon as you step onto the square because of how reflective it is, uh, you just bake. Uh, but man, the square just goes on absolutely forever. And uh, it's pretty crazy, but it is definitely awe-inspiring. That's a really big door, isn't it? Uh -huh. Do you think it's for a giant? No! Do giants think? don't exist! Oh. Uh, Chloe, who do you think lives in there? I don't know. You don't know? Someone really tall, I bet. No. So we didn't do much research on Casablanca. We were only going to be here for about 24 hours. Uh, before we head to Chef Chouan, but we made it to this mosque and there's lots of places for the girls to kind of run around and play. So all in all, we're having a great time. So the Hassan II Mosque is the largest mosque in all of Africa and it is the uh, third largest mosque in the entire world. I made world. a flower! <laughs> Say it again. I made a flower! I wanted to pick a flower, but instead I made Good job, Chloe. So last night we got in really late, um, but I went out to grab some dinner because we hadn't eaten yet. And um, I, I walked past this restaurant. They kind of ushered me in, kind of sat me down and instantly put a plate of hot food right in front of me. It was rather kind of funny. There was nothing to order up a menu. They just kind of sat me down and gave me food and gave me drinks. And it was amazing. So we were headed back to that same place. I came here last night and I tried these um, hot plates. I have yet to learn what they're called, but they're absolutely amazing. Um, but they're served boiling hot. You add onions and some paprika and salt, and then you break off a piece of the bread. Uh, it's a little bit too hot right now, but essentially you break off a little bit of the bread and then dip it in and try to keep it on, on the bread, and then that's how you eat it. Um, but it's absolutely delicious. So I feel like I'm not quite getting this right. It's a little messy. There's no silverware or napkins. So you're just using the bread and scooping up the meat. And I am, this is my first time and they probably can tell. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. There we go. It tastes like chicken. It does taste like chicken. Is it? I got some of these. Okay. So that was absolutely delicious. Uh, I'd be happy eating that every single day of my life. 
uh, super simple to make. It was cool to watch them uh, to make it. And uh, I definitely want to get one of those clay pots before we leave Morocco to try to be able to cook that same dish at home. Uh, but definitely a lot of fun and very good. I walked five kilometers all by myself. Good job. We have a tendency of booking places that involve a lot of steps. I don't know why that always happens. And I'm afraid it's gonna happen in Chef Schwan as well at our next place. But it's okay. We are headed to the rooftop. This is our view of Casablanca. Looking out the balcony on top of our hotel. This is what you get for about $35 a night in Morocco. <laughs> You're just so tired. So we decided to stop at a little coffee shop so that we could get some coffee and um, have a little bit of a rest. We're still pretty jet lagged from yesterday. So we're trying to kind of enjoy our time here without uh, getting too tired. I got a chocolate croissant. So um, Brady thinks he can speak French, but he can't. So um, he tried to order in French because they speak French here. He ended up getting us three lattes instead of two, but that's okay. We'll drink it, I'm sure. Can you wash my hands? The quite messy. Apparently, Chloe is being quite proper at this uh, fancy little restaurant. Can you wash my hands? The quite messy. <laughs> And when she finds something funny, she loves to repeat it. So we are now en route from uh, Casablanca to Chefchouan. And it's about a four hour drive. So right now we are in the car about halfway there. We've been in the car for about two hours. Um, we just stopped and had a little bit of coffee and water and orange juice to kind of give us a little uh, energy to finish this drive. I got my first ticket. I was speeding. And it was a it was a speed trap. I was going to the speed limit and then turn a corner out of nowhere, just dropped shut suddenly. And of course, there was a police officer there and uh, pulled me over. And he was very nice about it, but uh, he wrote me up and had to pay on the spot, um, which is as an American is very hilarious because um, he just paid him in cash and they put the cash in the pocket. Uh, but they gave me a ticket and were official about it. Um, but culturally, for us, that's it's kind of hilarious. But I tend to always get a ticket when we rent a car because it's very challenging to understand uh, local drive driving laws. Um, not many aside from speed are ever followed by locals and all of the signs are in Arabic. So it can be a little challenging, but uh, onward we go. So we rented a car just for the flexibility of things and because uh, figuring out bus rides from Casablanca to Chef Chouan was a little bit challenging and they were very long bus rides. Couldn't figure out the train, so we rented the car out of convenience. But don't rent a car in Morocco. It's it's crazy. Out in the country it's perfectly fine, normal, but Casablanca was just absolutely nuts. So there were several times when we were driving inside of Casablanca that were pretty terrifying. And there's these roundabouts where they have like six different lanes of traffic and you're supposed to cut through and um, all the roads were closed where we were supposed to go. It was pretty crazy and a little um, a little bit outside of our comfort zone, but we are happy to be driving out in the country now. So apparently hitchhiking is very common here. Um, everywhere you go, 
down the road you'll see lots of people just waiting to catch a ride um, even kids on their way home from school it seems like they're just standing kind of out in the middle of nowhere by the road um, with their hand out waiting to catch a ride um, it's kind of crazy the rest of the drive was somewhat uneventful as we enjoyed our road trip across morocco Soon we arrived to the most spectacular views of the blue city of Chefchouan. In our next video, we explore this ancient city as we attempt to navigate the small blue streets and continue to try out the local food. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss new videos in this series as we travel through Morocco. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram to stay up to date on our current travels. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.